Every time I lay my head at night, I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt before. Then you hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day today. It's very uh, windy, really windy here, here in Florida. Uh, well, I had just found out my you got some idiot doing probably a burnout or some stupidness on the other side. I could hear it. Probably on the other side. Um, yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> my brake light is out on the passenger side, like on the passenger side. And I'm going to show you guys how to replace it. Uh, I already took it out. It's basically easy and simple. And I'm going to show you the one, the brand that I bought. I basically bought it at Walmart. I think it was like $3 and change or probably less. It said long life. The number is 7443. Uh, it, it comes with two. I had uh, purchased this since like last year. But the one on the driver's side had went bad. So I had already used that one. That one is already installed. So today I'm going to install the one on the right hand side. And uh, let's get into it. Let me show you guys how easy it is. How easy it is to install and how to remove and everything. Here's the old one that I already took out. And let's get down to it. Pop my trunk. Ugh. All right, so sorry about the mess, all this extra stuff that I have back here. Long story. All right, so it's over here. So it's the one at the top that basically went bad. I had this between here because I, I was having a hard time to screw it open because all you got to do is like twist it. As you can see right there, it's like twist and all you got to do is push. It's pushed in. This is the old one that I have, so... It doesn't matter so you just pushed it in and it was basically in here and it's twist so all basically I had to do is just uh hold on, let me get it properly hopefully you guys could see make this video good and clear so you just basically push it in like so and just twist it when you twist it uh, this way, like going that way, that's open and go down, it's, it's locked. But um, yeah, let me take out the old one. You basically just pull it out. Just like this. As you can see that it's burnt. You see it? It's burnt. It looked darker. All right. So I'm going to just put this over here. Uh, give me a minute. Let me bust the new one open okay guys so I installed the new one all, as I said all you gotta do is push just push it in and just push it back in here and just like this and just twist it this way to just lock it in and you should be good good to go it's easy hitting hitting just like that I really don't have nobody to show I should call my sister down here to just to step on the brake to make sure make sure that it works what I'm gonna do I should I'm gonna use this case of book and I'm gonna put it on the brake and show you guys so as right here I know you guys could see you're not seeing no light no lighting no light no nothing like right here you see the bulb it's not lighting up right okay so let me get I'm gonna use the book man this I'm going to use these books and put it on the brake and see if it works. Hold on. Alright guys, it took me a while. But look. Bam. You can see it now, right? See it's lighting up. Bam. And this side is the same. Lit up. Perfect. Job done. So, 
that's how easy it is the location is right here the one on the right hand side is right over here all you gotta do is just twist it and it'll open twist it pull out to get it out of there easy put it back so about uh, how the trunk looks but it works now I can remove the books <laughs> I had to do it like that for it to work so there you have it uh, that's how you uh, do this is a 2007 Toyota Avalon that's how you do a brake light tail light replacement you could change the one at the bottom or the one on the top whichever one goes out they located the they located right there I had um yeah I remember I had got a, a ticket a ticket from that for my tail light was out the lady could have easily it was a lady cop she could have easy and that was in miami and i hate i hate driving over there i didn't even know like i really didn't know she should have easily given me a warning and tell me hey your tail light is out just make sure you get that fixed she should just easily give me a warning but no i ended up getting a ticket for it she gave me a ticket she came and she was like oh your tail light is out I was like, I didn't even know that, ma'am. And I, I spoke respectfully. I didn't even get mad or nothing. I'm mean, like, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't even know. Obviously, how are you going to know? I didn't even know until my friend told me. My friend told me about this this one that just went out. My friend told me that uh, it was out. And that's how I, I came to find out. If nobody told me nothing, you cannot drive and know. I know certain cars do tell you. The new of new vehicles these days tell you when your light is out but it's hard to detect your 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 tail light or your brake light is out because that's impossible you got to do some the thing what i just did put these heavy books on the on the brake and then go to the back if you don't have nobody with you <laughs> It's just ridiculous. It was just ridiculous. I think it was so unfair that the lady gave me a, a ticket for it. And I had to pay like $80 to get that cleared up. Because they had uh, wanted me to go to court and everything. Um, yeah, it's sad for daylight. I had to, I went to the police. I couldn't even come over in Broward, over here where I live. I had to go back into Miami to get them to sign off on the ticket to say that I, um, I basically purchased a, I purchased a new bulb to to install it, in, or just to say that I get I got it fixed. But they had wanted me to go to court, but I, it would have been pointless for me. I, I think I was working at the time. I'm not even sure. It was kind of pointless for me to be working, working, and then when I have court. I have to drive all the way in Miami and I don't know over there like that. I'd be over there. I hate going over there. But to go to the court all the way over there, it was like for a light bulb, for a tail light, it was nonsense. So I just paid $80 to a lawyer. I think it was like $80 or $70. One of those. It was some money like that. I just paid them and they just went to court for me, got everything cleared up. I was good. But it was nonsense. It was foolish. It was foolish, but that's how you do it, guys. That's how you replace your tail light bulb in a 2007 Toyota Avalon. I think it goes from 2005 all the way to 12. Maybe higher than that. I think that they just the same. They located in the same place, so maybe even uh, further up in the uh, the years. Probably up to the newest one that they have available but uh yeah it's a beautiful day today in florida i'm still praying on the election let the best man wins leave it in god's hand see what the outcome is going to be get this country country back on track and see how everything is going to turn out hopefully nobody's going to be going crazy riding shooting and 
doing all kind of stupidness that don't make no sense. But yeah, just leave it in God's hand and just hope and pray that the best man wins. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the love and the support when you guys come through watching my videos and I love you guys. I really do. I love the support. I love the you guys leaving comment. Love when you watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's why I always be trying my best to come in back to come back to you guys channel and support you guys the way how you guys support me. Yep, so I'm going to cut it here. Don't forget to wash your hands, wear your mask, be safe. God bless. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money.